Hi there, today's video topic is what's a good snowplow to buy for an ATV. When we brought, bought this property a couple years ago, we knew we had a dilemma because our driveway is 0.4 of a kilometer long and it goes from gravel to pavement. And I was wondering how I was going to do the snow removal during the winter months. And I didn't want to buy a truck and a plow because let's face it, it's pretty expensive. And I was in the market for getting an ATV anyways. So I thought, why not have an ATV and a plow blade combination for doing the driveway as well as using the ATV for other odd jobs around here. So, so keep watching. We're going to go to the shop and I'm going to show you the best solution that I found for myself. Now, when we bought this place, I never used a snow plow. I never had an ATV. I never had any experience plowing snow before this. I had a snow blower, but obviously a snow blower will not take care of that amount of driveway. So it was all new to me and I had to do a little bit of research. And like I said, I didn't want to use a truck or buy a truck and a plow. It's way too expensive. And I was in the market for an ATV anyway. So I went with an ATV and snow plow combination. I didn't know what blades were good either, or which plow I mean. So I did a little research on that. And I seen some brands where you had to manually, you had a long handle where you manually pull back up your blade and down. I didn't care for that. So when I bought this ATV, it already had a winch on it. And I would have probably put one on anyway. So I wanted to operate the blade with a winch. So after some research, I realized that the Kimpex Click and Go 2 would probably be the best option for me. Simplest, easy to use. So that's what I did. I, when I, once I bought the ATV, I had a few months of research. So then I went and got the Click and Go 2 snowplow. And this is my third winter season using the same ATV and blade, and I haven't had an issue yet. One thing I like about the click and go to snowplow, it's very easy to mount to your ATV. It comes with a mount that you mount to the frame of your ATV using four U-bolts. Once you snug them up, it's good. Now that your mount is connected to the ATV, you don't always have to have your plow blade attached to your ATV. That's the beauty of it. It can be, you can store it away in your shelter, your garage, a shed, whatever you like. And when you need it, you just drive up to it, click it on, and away you go. I'll show you how it works. So right now, the plow is laying freely on my garage floor. The ATV is just pulled up to it. So what you do is you take your hook and you run it through this first hook and hook it to the second hook and then raise it with your winch. I'm going to let some of the rope out. So you run it through the first hook, and then you hook it onto this hook here, and then you can raise it. Now another good thing is if you have a sore back like I do, I recently had an accident a week ago and my back is killing me. So this is actually a great time to show you this because I'm hurting. And I'm going to show you how easy this is. It'll take a little time, but it's simple to connect. So I raised it up. It's got the handle here. And you place it. You look underneath to see where the hooks of this snow, the frame of the plow, hook onto the mount. 
So I think I lined it up. I'll have to come on this side of the blade. And you, you step, there's a pellet here you step on. And it should be hooked on. Simple as that. I'll check the other side. Yep, it's all hooked on good now. We release the because now I want to disconnect it through the first hook so that it's just hooked up to the second hook here. And I'm going to pull in the rope to raise the blade. And there you go. It's ready for use now. So you can raise this blade pretty high. So there, that's quite a range of height. I hope you can see that. I'll move the camera so that you can see that. So you can see how far that is off the floor. I'll measure it just to get an idea. So it says it's 10 inches. That's plenty. Another great feature is, as you can see this, there's a, a pedal here and, and on this side too. What you do is when you want to angle your plow, you just step, click, or step on that and you can angle it. Now there's two different, uh, that's the furthest angle. There's another one here. And then, of course, you have your straight on. And, of course, you got the other way, too. Now I'll let it down and show you how easy it is to disconnect from your ATV. So you just go through the same steps, only in reverse. Then you raise the blade again. And you step on here again to disconnect it from the mount. And you pull it out. And now you lower the blade. If it's hung up on the mount, you can just give it a pull using this handle and let it drop to the floor. Now all you have to do is take your winch cable off and Can raise up your winch cable again. Now I'll show you exactly how this these hooks mount up to the to the mount underneath your ATV. So, like I said, you step on this, you step on this pedal here, and these open up just like that. You slip it on. Let off and it, and it hooks onto the mount. Now, when you want to do your gravel driveway, you will want to put your skid shoes on. You'll get a set that comes with your blade, but you know, after a while, this wears out here after much use and it just wears out and it falls apart. 
So you just order yourself a couple new ones. So when you're putting on your skid shoe, you adjust it to what you like. How high you want your plow blade off of your driveway. Another thing you may want to get is this hook stop. This will stop your hook from getting jammed up in here or going this far and breaking. See, I used to have a cable on here before. And when I first started doing this plowing, you know, I'd get distracted while I'm plowing or, and I'd raise my blade and my cable would come all the way in. And of course, it would, my cable would always break here. That was a pain. I had to fix that before I could continue plowing. Then I heard about getting this nylon rope for my winch is much better. I didn't know it'd be so strong, but this thing is unbelievably strong and it works way better than the cable. And I haven't broke anything since. Plus I put on this hook stop. So when this goes up here, it stops the hook and there's a bit of a rubber here that's a shocker. You know, it gives you a little bit of time to stop bringing your winch line in. If you were wondering what's a good snow plow to buy for your ATV, I hope this video helps you. This is my honest review. What's been working for me for the last three seasons and I didn't even know where to start when I first started. If I helped you in any way, please leave me a comment below. Hit the like button and please subscribe for more videos to come. And we'll see you on the next video.